Hey everyone, it's Medina from The Clarinet Life, keeping it classically real for you. And today I want to talk about some books that I think you should have in your library that's going to make your life so much easier. Let's get started. Um, Alright, so one of the things about being a classical musician is just like I guess any art form, you have to invest in it, right? There's so much to invest, right? Of course, our instrument, we're the most expensive investments, right? Um, can't tell you how many, how much money I spent on reeds, right? But anyway, um, you know, there's so many investments like making sure our instrument is taken care of, uh, making sure I have a case that um, is good, all these things. Well, there's no exception to music, right? As we continue our journey as musicians, whether you're um, in a student in college or you're professional, one of the things that you're going to wind up accumulating is sheet music. Um, and you know, that's just going to happen. And it's important to have it. It's important that we build our music library, that we are purchasing our music and making sure that all the, the whole, what I have to say, the classical music ecosystem is thriving. And how does that thrive when we are being, uh, we live our lives with integrity, we're being fair, we purchase our music um, as much as possible, right? We, it's so important. So, but here's the thing though, let's be real. It can get expensive and there's a lot of music, lots of music. So these are some um, ideas and books that I thought were a good idea for those of us who are professional or in the college level, um, and if you're in college, you're probably seeking to be to do this for a living. Um, so yeah, I think these books are going to be helpful. And let's get started. Okay, so I don't think this video is going to be terribly long. You know, I always think that, and then all of a sudden I'm editing, and I'm like, this is 20 minutes. So um, <laughs> hopefully this video will not be 20 minutes, or maybe it will. Maybe that will be a great thing. I have no idea. But um, I do want to share with you these books that I have used um, when I've been in school and I continue to use these books too. So the first one I'm going to go over is, this is by the Southern Music Company, great publisher, 16 Grand Solos de Concert. And um, I believe this is, well, I was going to say I thought it was all French. That's not true. Uh, there's Cors uh, Corsico. So, uh, never mind on that, there's a paper, duh. Okay, so anyway, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, it's not all French music, but uh, we do have some French uh, composers like Jean-Jean and Dor, and I think he's French. Um, Pierre Nier, right? So, um, let me take a look, this is the piano part. I'm gonna stress this. Um, what's nice about this is that it is a collection. So you're getting a collection of some standard repertoire and you're getting a collection of maybe some lesser known composers, which is great. Some of this music is standard, you know, it, it, you're, you're going to be required to play it anyway, right? Like anything Weber, uh, you're going to have to play, right? So, or Messager, or Vidor, those are, those are kind of the standards, uh, you know. Uh, Vidor and Messager might not be like Brahms and Schubert, Mozart, but still you're expected to be able to play it. So that's what I mean by standard composers. Um, that involve the clarinet. Um, so here's the thing, when you get this type of music, which is a collection, please make sure that when you purchase it, you read, do your research and read where you're buying it from and make sure you're getting both parts. Nothing worse and more upsetting, especially if you have a tight deadline, you get a book, the, the pianist book, but you don't get the clarinet part, right? That's not good, no bueno, right? No, 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 we cannot have that. So it's really important that um, you have both. Now, with this one right here, I will say it's a mix of standard and some lesser known composers like the Stocks uh, Pastoral. Um, but it did, uh, but uh, there's some like really nice, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna say filler music because that makes it sound lesser than but maybe not a standard, or maybe a little bit more, um, sounds a little bit more popular, um, like the Pierre right? But that's in there, that's, uh, that's a good piece. Um, but it's like, it's not like, 
if you're doing it for a jury, I don't, I don't know if your teacher, I think your teacher might want Brahms instead, but it depends. I don't know. That's just my initial thoughts. Who cares who my initial thoughts are on that? But um, it's just, it's whatever's appropriate for your student, right? If, if you're thinking that term, or appropriate for yourself. But what I'm getting at is, um, I play, I've played it, I've used this book before to play it, and uh, it's a great piece anyway. So, uh, enough of that. This one, Southern Music Company, 16 Grand Solos. I recommend that you purchase this, I do. I, I tell uh, all my students who are the college level, hey, you need to get this. All right, let's move on to the next one. Um, let's see, actually, this is not sheet music. Well, it is, but it isn't. Let me explain myself. One of the rites of passages as a wind player is orchestral excerpts. Here's the thing. It's expected that you know the standards and some people really wanna pursue an orchestral career. Um, if you're a gig musician, that's a part of uh, musical life. Um, and maybe there's those of us who don't want to pursue that, and that's fine, you know? You do you, right? But the reality is this. It's expected that you know some of these, uh, especially the standards, and the other thing is, what if you get a call? And maestro or maestra, whomever, wants you to play uh, this particular orchestral piece, and it's in like three days, and you need the part. You wanna really wanna look at it. Well, um, you know, you want to have access to the music. Hence why we want to uh, have a music library that has a lot of the, you know, s standards and uh, orchestral parts, parts. I say parts, not excerpts, because if you are interested in an orchestral career, it's really important that you have the full part, right? Excerpt books are great, I think, as an introduction. They're great um, if you're like traveling and you just want to like practice some, bring an excerpt book. Don't bring all those parts. But if you're looking to seriously um, do the orchestral circuit, you need to have parts. You need to have not just the principal part, you need to have all the parts. And in addition to that, side note here, you're gonna also have to have the scores uh, or at least access to the scores somehow. So. But right now I'm not talking about scores, I'm gonna talk about the parts. And I'm gonna talk about this series here that probably a lot of you guys know about. Um, it is the Orchestral Musician CD-ROM Library. Now, I'm just gonna say it's CD. Yes, compact disc. I think that's what that means, CD. Um, yeah, that's kind of a pastime. Like, my laptop does not have a CD player, I have to get, it, I have to get an external um, CD player, which I don't think I have one, so I should be getting that. Um, but anyway, I digress, but, but at the same time, no, because you need one in order to access this. Um, but getting ex uh, an external CD drive, you can, you can get that in uh, online or in like electronic shops, B&H, whatever is in your neighborhood, Best Buy. Um, but I'm gonna share this with you because I think it's really awesome. Um, I think a lot of these parts are available because of, um, what is it, the, the copyright has, has, has surpassed. But um, there's, this, is, this is, has like over 12 volumes, I believe. So I'm just showing you, and I have a few more of these. I don't, I don't have all of them. But um, this is volume one, this is volume two, and Basically, it's a CD, CD's right here, and um, this CD gives you access, here's a table of contents, of multiple works of, in this one, this is uh, volume one. I have access to Berlioz, Cherubini, Donizetti, Mendelssohn, Rossini. Um, let's see, I'm sure there's more. Schubert and uh, von Weber, right? So that's, and it has the clarinet concerto in there for the Weber, just in case you're interested. Um, but essentially you are getting all the clarinet parts of that work in the CD. So you have it all with you. 
that is pretty awesome. Um, this one here is volume two, right here. And this is W.C. Mahler and more. Um, has Bizet, Brook, 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 Brookner, Brook, Brookner, um, Grieg, Rager, um, yeah. All the big boys. All, all basically the standard composers, you know. Um, yeah, some of these, some of these um, orchestral works I'm not as familiar with, which is not a bad thing. It's good to have it, you know. You know. Um, like for example, Rager's Variation and Fugue on a Theme of Mozart, Opus 132. I didn't know he wrote that. Knowing is half the battle. Now I know. And I have the parts. So I can learn it if I want to. So having something like this really kind of um, empowers the musician. Why? Because now you have access to learn these parts so you can be prepared for your auditions, for a gig, um, there's multiple volumes of this, and I really recommend that you get this. You need this. Okay, so I talked about um, orchestral excerpts in terms of getting the parts, the orchestral parts, but now I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. I want to talk about chamber music uh, beyond the sonata duo, beyond um, clarinet and piano. And this, this is kind of like... Um, Kind of like this a little bit, but uh, it's a little bit different. This, I I don't know if this is still available. I think it is. Um, this is by the Southern Music Company. This is, uh, it's the Harold Wright Legacy Series. It says, Collected Chamber Music for Clarinet, Complete Clarinet Parts. Mozart, Beethoven, Weber, Schubert, Schumann, and Brahms. So, um, I got this at Beethoven House Music. Cool. Okay, so I think like, I have said this before. I, I'm a I'm a professional chamber musician, classical contemporary clarinetist, and chamber music's my thing. I love it, and there's a lot of chamber music out there, and just like there are standards in sonata duo and in like, orchestral works, there's also standards in chamber music, and you know, in my collection, I have I have not a huge amount of chamber pieces, but you know, I'm trying, <laughs> but let's be real here. The chamber music pieces tend to be, the, these parts, the, when, you, when you purchase them, tend to be a little bit more pricey than the Sonata Duo um, chamber works that you will be getting. And sometimes some of these pieces, um, like you won't be playing with the, you won't be playing it as often. Um, you know, you might not be playing, um, the, the Schumann, Schumann fairy tales um, for the full season. Or, you know, you might only play it once or maybe twice. I don't know. Um, depends on what you're up to. But here's here's my thing, is it, it can get pricey. And usually people wanna buy the music when they have to play it. But here's the thing, if you're doing that, when it comes time to play it, you're not kinda ready, right? Cause you don't have the music. So that's why I suggest having the, the Harold Wright Legacy Series Collected Chamber Music for Clarinet. I love this. I think it's brilliant. Um, and I really wish there was a woodwind quintet version. Hello, anybody hear me? That's a good idea. Um, here's what I suggest with this sort of deal. This accompanied with the scores of the, of the works is uh, dynamite. That's what you want. You want to have be fully well equipped. So um, here we have uh, the Mozart uh, Kegelstadt. We have the quintet. We have um, Beethoven, the septet, the um, the E flat major. Um, we have this is the Beethoven Trio, Opus Eleven. Um, Schubert Octet. See, this is one of those pieces where. You're just not gonna always go out and buy a Schubert octet. Okay, I have two copies. But still, you get the point. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things where you don't get to play that type of music as often. If you want to, it would be amazing to. If you wanna play Schubert with me, let me know. But here's the thing, um, not a lot of people are gonna go out and buy that. So by having this and having the parts, it's really preparing you to set off into the chamber music sunset. 
and I recommend that you get this. Um, also, just a side note with this book, it does come with some information about uh, the composer, the works, but I think um, specifically the composer and the instrument, like this is Beethoven and clarinet, Dylan and Mozart and Stagler, um, like the composer and the relationship of the clarinet is that he or she, I, would, I, I always like to say she or he or he or she, uh, this is all men composers, so he, uh, the relationship that these composers had with um, the clarinetist. So yeah, this is really cool, Harold Wright Legacy. If you can get your hands on this, you wanna get this for sure. Um, let's end with uh, some Sonata Duo um, collection. So I talked about the um, the 16 Grand st uh, Studies, well not Grand Studies, Grand Solos. Well, there's also, uh, this one is just like infamous. I think this is another one that everybody kind of has, but if you don't have it, you need to get this. This is um, by Shermer, uh, Masterworks for Clarinet and Piano and Weber, Schumann, Mendelssohn, and Brahms. Okay, so we have uh, the big guns here. Mendelssohn, uh, the Mendelssohn Sonata, maybe not as popular. It's not as popular, we know that, come on. But uh, the others, yeah, okay. And, and the other thing is, I like the Mendelssohn Sonata. Okay, so there, I said it. Now, let's take a look here. I actually have two copies of this. This is a, my second copy here. Um, I try to, music books that I think are helpful for my students or something that I've used for my students a lot, I try to have a, uh, a double copy because I don't want them touching my stuff. Or some of them it's fine, but like if they mess it up or they lose it, oh, bummer, right? So, um, Grand Duo Concertant. Uh, Weber, let's see, Weber, from Weber's uh, Variations. Schumann fan fantasy pieces. <laughs> I'm like, I just say fan pieces. Anyway, uh, Mendelssohn Sonata, and we have Brahms first and second sonata, right? So this is a classic. I really recommend that um, you get this. And here's the thing. Um, I don't see a price on this. I don't know, I can't recall the price. I will put the information in the description box uh, below. But here's the thing. It's cheaper to get something like this than buying all of it separate. I'm just gonna say right off the bat, personally for me, I prefer buying separate from particular publishers because I am a professional chamber musician and a professional clarinetist. So yeah, but here's the thing, something like this, I have played off of these books and it's totally fine. Um, and this is a great start, okay? Everybody has to start somewhere and these books or CDs <laughs> um, are a great start and if you're serious about being a classical musician you're going to have to take the time to get your standard music and this is a great way to do it it's affordable and uh, it allows access uh, for more classical musicians to continue to play on right so we always want to play on we always want to uh, learn and discover and this is a good first step in doing that all right well Thank you so much for watching. If you, this video was helpful, you liked it, smash the like button, right? Everybody says that, smash the like button. If you hit the like button, if you can click the like button, that would be nice. Um, and subscribe, all right? If you are looking for videos about clarinet, chamber music, uh, day in the life of a classical clarinetist, hey, I would love for you to join the family. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you are doing well. See you next time.